what's in my baby feeding bag? Hang tight, I'm gonna show you in this video. Let's say it's time for your baby to eat and you're gonna hit the road. How do you feed your baby outside of the house, at a park, at a restaurant, at a friend's house? I'm gonna show you what I pack to take with me when I'm feeding babies on the road. Hi, I'm Katie Ferraro. I'm a registered dietitian specializing in baby led weaning and I'm a mom of seven, also kind of a self-proclaimed packing fanatic. And my goal is to bring only exactly what I need. This is what I pack when I'm feeding babies on the road. If you guys like info on how to give your baby a safe start to solid foods, I put out new videos here on YouTube every week. Be sure to hit subscribe and get notified when new videos are live. All right, let's start with the gear. A little bit of gear is required, okay? Because you know when you get like to a restaurant, like they're not gonna have the stuff that you need to feed your baby safely. So I know it might sound like a little overkill, but I actually bring my own baby's plate or bowl with me to the restaurant because I promise you it makes life so much easier. All right, if you're super organized, you can pre-pack the meal ahead of you. Like, let's say you made dinner last night and there's leftovers. I'm actually gonna show you exactly what we had last night. I'm gonna pack a plate for my babies. So this is the mini mat from Easy Peasy, and I love these for feeding babies because they have a lid that you can put on the top if you're taking your baby, like to daycare or again, to a friend's house. You can pre-portion the meals. I didn't even think about it. I made this last night. It has three little compartments in here, so I'm doing three different foods. We had some roasted broccoli, did a little bit of beef chuck roast. I'll add a little bit of low sodium broth to that to make it nice and safe for the baby. And then I have a whole grain cereal here that I just formed into little finger foods that the baby can pick up. I'm gonna pack that right away into my bag. If you're not organized enough or you don't already have food prepped and you're gonna be getting food wherever you're going, I still take my own bowl. I like these tiny bowls from Easy Peasy. They're silicone suction. They suction to the surface so that your baby hopefully doesn't make as big of a mess as if they didn't have it. But also you gotta think about it. Like let's say you're out, you're at a restaurant or a friend's house, you're at a park, like the surface where you're gonna be feeding your baby is probably disgusting. So I like to bring my own mats and bowls just from like a hygiene and sanitation standpoint. Another thing that I do take with me when I'm feeding on the road is this tiny placemat from Easy Peasy. This has been such a game changer for me, especially at restaurants. So it's a silicone placemat that suctions to the surface, okay? First of all, I love it that it rolls up and you can put it right in your bag, no problem. You can roll it out, you can put the foods on there for your baby and they can pick it up and feed themselves. Gus, you wanna help me pack this bag? Come here, bro. Okay, all right, go ahead, Gus. So this placemat is awesome because you can roll it up, right, Gus Bus? Yeah, put the little bandana around it and you can put it in the bag. Good job. All right, what else do babies need if you're gonna go feed them somewhere like at your friend's house? Spoons. Spoons is a good one. I take a couple of these easy peasy tiny spoons. I love these for babies six to 12 months of age. You can scoop the food, put it in their hand, the baby can bring it to their mouth. I also will pack the spoons. I like these little stasher bags. I'm just, again, stasher bags, kind of for sanitation. Take a couple of those with us. You wanna put them in the bag? All right, there you go. What about snacks? Snacks, all right. I'm not a huge fan of snacks for babies. If you guys have been following for a while, you know. I'm a firm believer that babies, puffins. you love Puffworks too. You guys know babies can get most of the nutrition they need from food and the milk in between their meals are their snacks. But if you are gonna be off your schedule, and that's what happens when you leave the house, right? The schedule goes to, you know what? Banana. You're gonna eat that banana, aren't you? You gotta take snacks if you're gonna be off your schedule. So banana is the perfect snack for a baby, right? It comes with its own beautiful, container that keeps the food safe on the inside. We never offer the baby the peel though. So don't cut the banana and leave some of the peel on. That's a huge choking hazard for your baby. Instead, you peel it, cut it into spears about the size of your adult pinky finger. I'll put that into the bowl for the baby and that's a really easy and cheap snack you can take with you. You like these things? Yeah. All right, I got big fans of the Puffworks Baby peanut butter puffs over here. These are a great snack. I don't love a lot of packaged or processed snacks for babies, but one thing I love about the Puffworks Baby peanut butter puffs is that they are an ideal way to introduce peanut to your baby, and they're safer than doing thick globs of nut butter. So I'll take a bag or two of these with me. Want to open it, bro? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna open it. All right. Okay. And then just put a couple of the puffs in the bowl for. Put three in the bowl for the baby. One, two. Three, and then your big kids are probably gonna eat the rest of the puffs, right? Yeah, I am. You can eat it. All right, what about 
the mess. When your baby is eating on their own, I know it's messy. And our goal is not to prevent the mess, but we definitely want to minimize the mess. So I always take a bib with me. I love these baby led weaning bibs called Baprins from a company called Baprin Baby. They're so cute. They come in solid colors, but they also come in prints. These are super nice waterproof material. They pack down really, really small, so they fit in your bag, no problem. Plus, you can just rinse them out underneath the faucet, dry them on a drain board, or put them back in your bag, and they're ready to go for the next meal. Another thing you can take with you if you're up for it, if you're doing your open cup practice, you can do it while you're on the road. I love these tiny cups from Easy Peasy. Your baby can start learning how to drink out of an open cup as early as six months of age. You practice about five minutes after each meal. When your baby gets proficient at drinking out of an open cup, it is like the ultimate party trick. So don't forget to pack some of the tiny cups. Fill it up with a little bit of a thicker liquid for those earlier eaters, right? Breast milk or formula. They can practice that lip closure drinking out of this open cup. It is going to blow your friend's mind when your baby is able to drink out of an open cup. You also need wet wipes, right? We really try not to wipe babies down while they're eating. I know it's tempting, especially when you're at someone else's house. I mean, your baby's getting food on their face. Wipe them down as soon as the meal is over. But if we wipe our babies during mealtime, that can actually become a really negative sensory experience for the baby, right? Like, how would you feel if you were trying to learn how to eat oatmeal and this lady kept attacking you with her wet wipe or her washcloth? So definitely bring your wet wipes and clean up that wet food mess as soon as the baby's meal is done. All right, so we got the food taken care of. We've got some snacks. We've got our gear. We've got our wet wipes. One thing that I always take with me is a splash mat to put underneath the feeding area. So I use these big splash mats from this company called Vapor and Baby. It's the same brand that makes the bibs that I like for baby led weaning. They come in these really nice bags. Save the bag when you get it because it's perfect for taking with you in your bag. But I just want to show you guys like how big these splash mats are because they're really nice. You can use them like, like a picnic table cover if you're out at a park. You can use them underneath wherever your baby's high chair is. Okay, so the baby gets the mess everywhere, all over the place. And all you have to do when the meal is over is you just fold the splash mat up like that, keeping that mess in there, put it in your diaper bag, and then take care of that mess at home if you are so inclined. What about the high chair? This is probably the biggest pain point when you're out on the road, right? Let's say you're at a restaurant. You know the restaurant high chairs are never going to have a foot rest. Your baby needs to have their feet resting flat on a solid foot plate. We know that that's the way that we facilitate a safe swallow for your baby. But there's no foot rest when you're out and about. So you can actually take your own portable high chair. There's some really great affordable portable high chair options. I'm going to show you one that I use a ton for feeding on the go. It's from the company Summer Infant. I love it because it's like a little tiny camp chair. So check this out. First of all, it all comes in a nice handy little carrying bag. You've got the tray, okay, that comes in the bag. And then the little chair pops up like so, okay? And you can put your baby in there. This one has the tray that you push on like this, okay? And then you see your baby's feet can be resting flat here on the solid foot plate. If it's not flat, if your feet are still dangling, you can put a book or you can put anything else you have in your bag underneath the baby's foot rest. The baby can eat here. Another cool thing about these chairs is that they come with straps that wrap behind an adult chair and underneath an adult chair. So you can actually affix these portable chairs to an adult chair. You can just take the tray off like this if you want to, actually just pull the baby up to the table and then your baby can be eating with everybody else who's enjoying that meal too. All right, so all the feeding gear, putting it in the feeding bag, zipping it up, we're ready to go. I don't want you guys to be scared about feeding your baby when you're out and about, right? One of the benefits, one of the reasons why you're doing baby led weaning is because it allows your baby to join in family meals even from their first bite. You guys have to live your lives. You're gonna be out and about and I want you to know that your baby can be joining you there too. I'm gonna link up all the products that I used in this video that's in this bag. It'll be in the video description that you see below where you're watching this video. And also don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every week on how to give your baby a safe start to solid foods.